Namaste and welcome to High Tower Tarot. This is King Gaia, and today I am bringing you guys our monthly energy forecast, sharing significant vibrations, energetic influences, and how they are impacting our collective. Okay, so be sure to subscribe so that I can channel for you as well as part of my soul tribe. Okay, all messages from spirit are, are um, timeless, are timely, and divine timing, revealing information behind the veil um, of circumstances and opportunities and potential challenges that may not be obvious to us yet, but very important that we take into consideration, right? This is a <clears throat> general reading, and it may or may not resonate with you, um, depending on where you are on your path, but that's okay. There's always a message for you on my table, okay? Um, so please take what resonates and ditch what doesn't. Um, honestly, you know, nothing that I could ever say um, could ever like change your destiny or alter your true nature so please always honor your intuition your free will and your common sense I am just a messenger reading energy okay and you are your own guru um, actually let me lower my music I found this beautiful meditation music that has water playing in the background like a like a little river or stream and it's very beautiful but it's very distracting um, and it's very intentional, you know, we are entering cancer season and it's um, water, you know, a lot of emotionality that's going to be presented to you today on the table. Um, last month, we talked about the residual Hierophant energy and the tower debris that some folks were still dealing with uh, from Toro season. and. You know, as we entered Gemini season last month, and there was a need to prioritize self-care. Spirit was very, very specific about us embracing radical self-love and self-care, you know, and how, you know, focus on self was needed to be um, prioritized um, and embraced because, you know, we were in the process, we are still in the process of rebirthing, you know, resetting, rebuilding, and reinventing the life that we want, you know. And only keeping the beliefs, the connections, and the values that are in alignment with our authentic selves. We are not going to be dragging bullshit that does not belong to us, regardless if it was inherited or acquired or whatever. It's time to let go of all that, right? Um if we uh, follow guidance last month and decided <laughs> to focus on ourselves, um, we realized that during the process, some new connections may have emerged. Yeah, 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 yeah. New people showed up. Um, some connections may have flourished, meaning existing real and reciprocal connections that are stronger. And some connections vanished for good. Yeah, finally, right? Choosing yourself. That's what happens when you choose yourself, you know. Um, and all that was, you know, all that, the transformation, that in and out was part of breaking free and prioritizing self-love, you know. Choosing, choosing ourselves um, and leaving people and, and circumstances behind generated the need for answers and closure and for us to make rational sense of what was changing, what's new and, you know, what's being lost, um, all of that may, you know, and, and it is okay. It is okay to want answers and to want closure and to want further understanding because it is part of our human condition you know there's no judgment here okay as long as we do not lose ourselves in the process and we keep moving forward you know continuing choosing ourselves we're good you know it is it is okay you know feelings are normal we, we're supposed to have feelings you know we're not psych sociopaths right um at the end of this forecast we are going to go over um, how to choose um, how to choose the right closure for you, you know, um, how to close a chapter while still moving forward, you know, um, 
because what we're not going to do here is get stuck in an eight of swords, you know, confined by the need for closure and, and shit, no. You know, that's that's self-sabotage, right? And, and that's completely opposite of the chariot cancer energy, right? Um, listen, we are entering cancer season, and it's the chariot, baby, you know, and just like it's the energy of this year, 2023 is the chariot. So July is like super intensifying that vibration. Um, you're in or out because we're closing chapters for good here. So it is kind of like a mid-year life review. That's what's going on. You know, how's it going for you? You know, that, that's that's kind of like the self-assessment that we are going to be experiencing whether we're ready or not, right? Um, listen, <clears throat> uh, I'm a moon child myself, and, um, my assessment of Cancerian energy comes not only from knowledge and intuition, but it's also coming from personal and professional experiences. Personally, me living, walking life as a Cancerian and, you know, professionally, like, working with shadow work and, you know, the light and the shadow aspects of you know, our human versions, our archetypes. Um, Cancerian energy, when in light, is loving and caring and nurturing and very protective. But when in shadow, Lord, um, is very possessive, is very hurtful, and it could be very, very cruel, okay? Because we know how to fuck shit up, period. You know, when we feel taken advantage of or disrespected, hurt, or disregarded, we're going to lash out. You know, we're going to snatch your wig and rip your heart out with our little crabby claws, right? And I know it sounds really harsh, and um, it's not bragging at any point. This is nothing to be proud of, you know, but when I say that we know how to do it, we know how to do it. We are the kings and queens of cups, and we have mastered intuition and hardcore emotionality, not only from a heart chakra stand, but also from our sacral. And that's what's going on this month, a lot of sacral mastery, okay? Um, when a Cancerian comes for you, <laughs> in a good or a bad way, you you simply do not stand a chance, right? Um, and that's not even a threat. It's just the, the power of the energy. It's a fact. It's a reality. Some people feel that out of the water signs, maybe Scorpio is the darkest, and that is because they are obviously dark, right? But cancer energy is subtle, so you don't see it coming, and that's what makes it so sneaky and powerful. And painful okay so how does that archetype light and shadow translate into the cosmic con collective energy this month very easy you know we're going to focus on the emotionality psycho chakra right this season is going to be about resolving emotional shit you know that's getting in the way interrupting or distracting or trying to block our moving chariot huh Okay, here, you know, you can see here the yin, the yang. This is the duality. This is inner conflict. If we don't get the shit together, the chariot does not move forward, you know. You cannot be pulling in opposite directions. It, you have to reconcile your inner conflict in order to move forward. And that's what we're going to do. That's what's being asked for us to do. Um, now, I want you to... Um, Understand the deep emotionality that this month is carrying is um, it's, it's about the emotionality that is disrupting, but also the emotionality that creates, right? So anything or anyone interfering with your needs, with your happiness, your inner peace, your money, and, and your progress, got to go. Bye. You know, we're going to focus and literally like just run over shit, okay, if necessary, you know, I want you to 
look at the card. You know, there's a lot of symbology here. You know, of course, we have the inner conflict, the duality, you know, the need for harmony in order to move forward. We have here his determination, you know, and that he's moving forward past emotions. This is the water behind, right? You know, he's living behind comfort, you know, he's leaving the castle in in seek, seeking um, answers and solutions and finding himself, you know. Um, he is leaving behind the Hierophant completely. Um, and, you know, he, he looks focused, but if you see, you know, pay attention, he's scared of shit, like... <laughs> You know, um, probably very emotional too, but he knows exactly where he's going um, and he knows what he wants, what he needs and who deserves a seat next to him, you know, and um, he's seeking answers and fulfillment. I want to show you the vice versa power version of this card because it, it's, it's it really tells the story, you know, like here, for example, we see the same thing, you know, like here, the symbology, of course, is wearing the armor, protecting herself like a good Cancerian, tough on the outside, soft on the inside. He has his, you know, the things, you know, this, this, you know, horses, deities, whatever, Pulling forward for him, same story, right? The things, um, and you know the wheels here are red, and it's all about that passion, you know, lower chakra situation going on. Um, the purpose here, it, he's carrying the harmony of opposites. Again, you know, you have to be in inner harmony to make it work. But here, this is this is my favorite, is how. He's breaking free. You see, there's like a chain here. He's breaking free. And not only that, he there's no way back. He's, you know, he's the, the road is, the, you know, is vanishing behind him. He cannot come back. He will never be the same. He cannot go back to square one ever. That's the determination, you know. And he's holding his cup, the cup of happiness. Ace of Cups is right here. Okay, he is looking for fulfillment and he ain't gonna compromise shit for nobody or for nothing. Okay, um, with that, <laughs> with that vibration, with that being said, um, we're going to grab all that self love energy from June, you know, Gemini season, that radical self love, and we're going to embrace it. Unapologetically, of course, we are going to nurture it and protect it like a good Cancerian will do. And we're going to make it obvious. We're going to make it count. And whoever or whatever threatens to compromise our boundaries, our balance, our sanctuary, bitch be gone. Okay? Return to sender. That's the energy. Now, again, with that being said, we can counter the shadow aspects, you know, by maybe releasing the need to control, you know, releasing the need to control the mundane aspects of life and focus more on the divine aspects of life and the big picture and our purpose. And I know that is very easy um, said than done. Um, I am a control freak myself and I understand the struggle of releasing control. It is not easy. It's really not easy, bro. Um, but we can also harness, you know, or channel that possessiveness into achieving craftsmanship, um, craftsmanship, you know, like um, becoming skilled and accountable and in charge of our creations. We're going to use that motherly Cancerian energy to develop and bring to life the children of our mind. Um, again, sacred chakra. We're going to create projects, and we're going to make him. Um, we're going to see them through, you know, fulfilled. Um, that's the predominant energy for the month. Okay. Let's see here. The moment I embrace my peace with within and surrender the moment, the universe can can truly get to work. We have to reconcile our inner conflict. 
right? And I am kind and loving toward others while creating clear boundaries. Clear boundaries. Not everybody is going to make it. Not everybody is going to make it. And that's the part that we're struggling with, letting go, right? Letting go, letting go. Um, predominant energy this month is love, duh, you know. Love energy in every shape and form. This is universal love. This is creative bliss. This is romance, connections, family, kinship, friendship, all of that. Why? Because after everything is said and done, love is the answer, right? Um, following your bliss. That that's that's his pursuit. You know that's that's why that's what he's doing, and that's what they both know, right? Um, the focus here is following your bliss, personal or professional. And there is a unique opportunity this month, the next thirty days. Um, this cancer season or whenever you find this video the next 30 days to do what you love and to choose who you love follow your heart and follow your bliss um this season is affecting <clears throat> and impacting our fifth house all about romance love and the things and people we are passionate about this is about our calling this is about you know, our heart's true desires, our inner compass, and our ability to follow, you know, our true north. The only potential challenge here is not taking the leap, you know, is you maybe intentionally jumping off the chariot to sabotage yourself um, or bringing people into your chariot and make it impossible for the the wheels to move, you know. Um, this is um, an urgent calling for you to take the leap and soar, you know, take the time to understand your gifts, your abilities, and your heart. Get to know your needs. Learn how to fulfill your calling, you know, and forget about anyone else's opinions or expectations or demands. This is not about them. This is about you following your heart, and staying true to your heart's desires. What or who makes your heart sing? That's the answer. Okay, love. Even if it makes no sense to others, it doesn't matter. It has to make sense to you, for you, you know. You are not here to people please or to seek validation from others. No, ma'am. No, sir. Okay? Um, let's see. What else? So, potential challenges. Mm, okay, it's upside down. Okay, of course, the unexpected, the unknown, you know, um, us facing the unknown, but also not believing, you know, the blue moon is like, do you believe in magic? Do you believe it's possible for you? You know, do you believe in miracles, blessings? The fact that you have a gift that is so powerful beyond your own comprehension, right? Um, that there's a love out there as powerful and pure and strong and beyond your imagination, you know, regardless of what kind of bullshit we're holding in our hearts, right? Um, and this is the gift, it's the blessing. Um, we talked about the need for answers and closure and spirit is going to address that for us today we we're gonna get down um to each one right to three there's three introspections three in introspective propositions for us to consider you know um we need to understand first of all that the only closure that you need is knowing that you deserve better, okay? <laughs> and that does not come from external factors or from other people. It comes from within. So with that being said, yes, we're going to talk about closure, but know that love is the answer. And the only closure that you need is knowing that you deserve better 
and that you can put all that longing, all that pain, um, you can transform that into self-love and self-care, you know. Um, you know, um, just the challenge will be the unexpected, um, no knowing what's out there, but the opportunity is to find a blessing. You know, look at them. They're both moons, of course. Um, blue moon is something that you don't even think is possible. And then, boom, a blessing is like a miracle. So if you can pass, if you can find yourself moving forward and following your heart and, you know, pursuing what you love and who you love, who you really love, then, boom, the unexpected will happen, right? The miracles will happen. It's going to pop, right? Um, as far as, like, conflict, uh, you know, like, what is the the challenges, you know, the need for closure past conflicts, okay? The, the, the obvious one is, of course, conflict resolution. Conflict resolution, um, not to be mistaken uh, with... Um, Reconciliation. We're not talking about reconciliation. Conflict resolution is more like harmony of the opposites, which, you know, is a very Cancerian thing here. And here we see it, harmony of the opposites, right? Um, it's about coming halfway, you know, standing your ground and be like, um, yeah, I said what I said and this is why, right? You guys can agree to disagree. Right. And find peace with that. You know, you don't have to be on the same terms. Right. Yeah. You know, a conversation can lead to reconciliation, but that is not the desired outcome. You know, here is more like to satisfy your need for clarity. You know, conflict resolution is both parties or whatever situation understanding where each um each side um is coming from bring it to the table and boom conflict resolution right um another thing here is like i see the the throat chakra there's like a throat chakra energy here and um it speaks of communication and the need to settle what's left unsaid, you know. So we're talking about maybe a pending conversation. We'll give you the closure that you need. Pending conversations are so heavy. They're so heavy in the heart, right? You're not at peace until you get everything you need to say out of your system. And and that is that is okay. It's human, you know. But when you are in the middle of an, of an argument, for example, you know, um, you get into a position or an energy, you get stuck in a vortex, you know, you either get carried away and either say too much or you just get, off, get um, caught, caught off guard and you get tongue-tied or you simply don't know how to react accordingly because you're in shock. So words communicating expression becomes very challenged so then when you go back home and you're calm um you you reflect on what happens and the words and the series of events and emotions that led led you there right and you feel or recognize that so much was left unsaid you know maybe different words could have been could have saved the day or maybe you reply, you know, you, you replay, like you replay the, 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 the scene, the shed in your head. And, you know, you either come from an ego place and say, oh, I could have won the argument if I would have said that or that. Or, or you come from like a more humble angle and be like, shed, you know, that went too far. You know, either way, you can solve this by writing down your version of what happened. Just write it down, how you felt. I went down for you, you know, how, you know, your experience of the series of events, your feelings, because all of that needs to be validated by you, not the third party, not the person involved, you. This is for you. We're giving you closure 
based on knowing that you deserve better. That's what we're doing, right? What you wanted to say but couldn't say, you know, but do that on from a calm state of mind. Find it within yourself. All the left on set and write it down. You know, then you can burn the paper later or, you know, like in a ritual or you can share with a therapist or, or, or you know, like a, someone that is not emotionally involved. Or maybe you can bring it to the person and, you know, have the conversation. That is possible too. But that is not what we're doing here. You know, we are trying to move the chair, keep the chariot moving forward. So that you can focus on your purpose and your calling without the distractions of this need for closure, this longing, right? Um, let's see what else. The one thing that is important is for you not to play the victim when you're doing this. Like, oh my God, they did this to me. Blah, 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 blah. No, this is not for that. You know, that's a very that's that's a shadow archetype. We're not gonna be playing these games, not against ourselves. We're not going to be that. We're not going to be placing blame either. In the contrary, this is an exercise, to, an exercise to acknowledge the role that we play, you know, because take two to tango and how you contributed with the circumstances of this pending conversation, right? This is an awareness exercise, okay? So, and last but not least, I think that the obvious um, closure comes from forgiveness, right? Um, and forgiveness does not involve forgetting because if we forget, then we do not learn the lesson, right? Um, we could end up right back on square one eating shit, <laughs> You know, it happens. Forgiving is about forgiving ourselves, ourselves for whatever we did or didn't do, period. And accepting the experience as a learning lesson and, and moving on, okay? Do better next time. That's it. We're not going to be crying over spilled milk. Water under a bridge. Move on. Forgive yourself, okay? Um, our July extended forecast with taroscopes and, you know, the top three predictions and the moon ritual recommendation will be available inside the vault along with every single energy leadership session um, that is... Um, relevant to the energy that we're talking about here. Um, of course, as a token of appreciation for your kind support, all extended forecasts are free for all Almanac members right here on YouTube. Thank you for supporting our channel, our free virtual classroom, and for allowing me to be of service to you. You know, I feel so lucky and grateful every day. I do not take this blessing for granted, okay? I will be posting weekly energy updates on Instagram and daily um, path revelations quick reads on TikTok. Um, links will be posted below. This is our energy forecast for this month. Thank you for watching King Gaia out.